You know, if you're planning a get together on New Year's Eve, you have to wow your guests. I mean, wow. And try something new this year with your alcoholic beverages. With me this morning, Katie Alvino and Marla Burke from Phillips Distilling. And they're here to share some flavorful ideas and they are going to razzle dazzle you. Trust me. Good morning, Good ladies. Good morning. Thank Good you so much you. for being here. Yes. You know what? I love New Year's. New Year's, yes? Love yes. it. I like saying goodbye to 12 and I'm looking forward to 13. And then there's that New Year's resolution, Marla. Spend more time with family and Spend friends. more time with family. I hear that a lot. That one's a good one. Run more. Hit that road. <laughs> <laughs> Lose my my <laughs> exercise too. I'm a runner. I just I gotta I gotta work out the stomach. I wanna get that six pack. I wanna have a six pack at 45. I gotta work on that. And you know what I love most about New Year's Eve and New Year's and just all the parties and the people that come over and just really the fabulous drinks and the toast, right? Is that what y'all do? It's all about the toast. Absolutely. And you know, not just the normal I, mean, I don't want to say anything like this, but the champagne. You got to do something really new. And you guys have such a fabulous display here of stuff that I've never seen. So I want to start with this one because this is gorgeous. Yes, and let me tell you all about it. All it is is a little bit of UV blue vodka, two parts, two parts champagne, and voila, you have this gorgeous toast drink for your midnight. And I got to tell toast. you, I walk out with this. And people would just stare at me and say, wow. Right, conversation starter. Totally, totally. And I bet you it tastes good. It tastes great. All right, tell me what this is. This is something that would be ideal for the morning after or if you're having a brunch. It's the UV uh, Bacon Bloody Mary. And it has our UV vodka, bacon, tomato juice, horseradish, pepper, Worcestershire <laughs> sauce, celery, everything in here. And you put it in a blender and you're done. And then obviously garnish it with your favorite garnish. Oh. That one, Marla, looks like a big one there for the stomach. No kidding. That's why it's for the morning after when you're not in your dress. You're not kidding. Yeah. That's not for my six pack. Let's put it that way. My mom is definitely a, a Bloody Mary drinker. She would love this. Okay, this one is just so cute. I'm assuming this is for dessert? This is for dessert. Okay. Um, it's our UV cake vodka, a little bit of whipped cream, put it in the freezer. And you're, voila, you're done. You've got your toppings. You can have a little topping bar if you wanted to. Cookies, candies, caramel. I gotta be it's careful if there's kids at my house. I'd have to make some virgin <laughs> ones and say, wait, 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 yeah, yeah. wait. That one's yours right there. <laughs> Last but not least, Marla, what's that? We have a new twist on the Cosmo. This is adding UV cherry vodka instead of the traditional vodka. And it just juices it up a little bit. It's equal parts UV cherry, triple sec, and cranberry juice. Just give it a shake. Uh-huh. I love that shake. <laughs> love that shake. <laughs> shake, not stir. Pour it in. <laughs> and it is a festive cocktail garnish with some greenery, and you have a fun twist on the Cosmo. Oh my gosh, that is so good. And what I really like about the UV vodka is just it, the color. I'm sure it gives it like a nice little zing taste that you can't exactly. get from maybe another one. Yeah, and it you know gives a little bit more juicy flavor to it. Well, ladies, I think we should toast with the one that I think is the prettiest, Absolutely. which is blue. Thank you. Salute to the new year. Salute. Salute. To good health. Yes. And if you'd like to get the recipes to these drinks and find out more about the vodka, go to uvvodka.com. That's uvvodka.com. Happy New Year.